straight A's in their classes. They're also engaged in extracurricular activities. Katie loves swimming and feels as though she was born to be in the water. Katie's older brother Will is on the high school basketball team, but one night he doesn't. depressed and has managed to get himself a mental illness. One night, Will holds a gun to his father's face, and Katie and her mom run out of the house as they call the police. Another day, Will almost successfully kills himself. Katie's parents decide to send her away as a means of granting her a more normal life. She goes to a boarding school in Woodstock and has many amazing experiences there. The trouble begins when someone asks her about her sibling. She's about to tell them the truth, but she realizes that she doesn't want everyone to see her differently, so she tells them that he died in an accident. The only person that knows the truth is her Korean roommate, Madeline. Madeline's mother died in an accident, and she is made to stand up. How will Katie keep this lie about her sibling? And what will happen when the truth comes out? In the book, he's accused of committing a murder, but does he actually do it? Read it to find out and discover the effects that mental illness can have on you. For me, this book surely kept me on the edge of my seat, and it prevented me from putting it down. However, it was definitely a heavy read. There were many mentions of drugs and some inappropriate scenes of language. I would still recommend this book as it places some great insight into our minds regarding how serious a mental illness really is and how devastating it can be to a family, a community, and a society. This book is full of hope, friendship, love, struggle, perseverance, romance, caring, courage, suspense, and is truly